Welcome to the Eternal Studios Quick and Dirty Photoshop Spot Color Separations videos. My name is Drew. I'm going to be putting these together for you guys, uh, answering a bit of the, the questions I read out there on some of the forums that I'm on. Uh, people just want to know how to spot color sep out of Photoshop, and it is pretty tricky. It's actually more of an art form. It takes a lot of trial and error, but it's not too in-depth. We're going to be using Photoshop CS4. You can use CS3, CS2, pretty much any Photoshop. It's nothing's too, really too new. Um, all the features are in pretty much all of them. We're going to start with this skull image, this fire skull. Something pretty basic, not a lot of colors. This one is probably six with an underbase. Probably get away with five, maybe bump it to seven. Um, basically, it's just a layered image. We usually work this way because uh, a lot of times clients want changes, they want edits, or a lot of times we want elements and we need them for for new image instead of starting from scratch or a flattened image or channeled. You uh, you can just pop these right out, change them, put in something else, reset, easy, clean, very fast. Um, it's gradient mapped. This is a different way we can go about stepping it too, and I will cover that uh, probably in a later episode. We're going to go over a bunch of different methods. A lot of the stuff we're going to be covering is for a little more advanced in Photoshop. As long as you know what a lot of these tools do, you'll be fine if you're a complete newbie. It's, it might be a little hard to follow along, but uh, hopefully we can cover enough info that uh, you'll be up to speed. We're going to be working with the channel mixer, we're going to be working with the curves palette, uh, gradient maps, a lot of the calculations, a lot of screen modes, multiplies, uh, just to knock out colors and bring out colors. It's not really that tricky, but uh, you'll probably have to do it a bunch to to get up to speed. Um, I want to be clear, this is not CMYK stepping. That is uh, something pretty different. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for apparel. There are people who can do it very well, good printers who can do good, uh, good outputs, but you need a really good printer if you're gonna even decide to print something CMYK. This is spot color, it's a lot brighter. It's a lot uh, lot more mainstreamed on how, how shirts get printed, uh, especially if you have experience printing through Vector, uh, Illustrator, or, or whatever. Um, the next episode we'll probably do, it's going to be a little more illustrative, uh, something more photographic. Uh, that should be a little uh, tougher, a little more advanced, but we want to show you all the aspects. Um, we're also going to cover all the parts of getting a, a black film out of here, a uh, underbase, uh, a highlight white. And we're just going to try to break those up in different videos so you don't have to search around and listen to all my ramblings to find out the part that you have a question on. So we'll do a black, a black video, a white video, underbase video, and probably do a gray and then a colors and then different variations on how to do this. So if you have any, uh, any questions, throw us a quick email. Uh, we'll try to cover it in our next, next series and uh, walk through if there's a certain image that really perplexes you and you want to get to know how to do this. Uh, shoot it our way. Uh, we might feature it and uh, send you a shirt or two of the finished product. Uh, basically, trying to do is get a, an image as close to this on a shirt without, uh, without too many problems at the printer. So, Hope these are useful to a lot of people, and uh, feel free to drop us an email. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned. Later.